If you're running Meta ads, meaning Facebook or Instagram ads, and you are not using the Conversions API, you are really missing out and you are wasting ad budget. In this video, I will show you how you can use HubSpot together with Meta's Conversion API to fix that issue. Now, why does this matter? Well, if you're not using the Conversions API and you're just relying on the pixel data, your data is probably going to be spotty at best. Pixel-based tracking is severely limited because of ad blockers, privacy features and browsers, iOS updates that are also privacy focused, the data is just not as reliable anymore as it used to be. And this is where the Conversions API comes in. Because the Conversions API will send the data and sync the data between HubSpot and Meta on the server side. This means better attribution, better optimization, meaning lower CPAs. Isn't that what we all want? Now, what do you need to make this work? First of all, you need a HubSpot marketing professional or marketing enterprise license. You need Facebook's or better Meta's business manager, and you need access to the ad account that you want to set this up for, as well as the conversions API for that account as well. My name is Jasper. I'm a certified HubSpot consultant. Now, let me share my screen and I'll show you exactly how this works. So when we're in HubSpot, the first thing we wanna do is we want to set up our HubSpot so that it's linked to our Meta account. For this, we're going to go to settings, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to marketing, and then ads. And here you can see like right now in my demo account here, I have nothing linked, but here is where we will be able to link that data. And here you can already see a preview of what you can expect after you linked your ads account to HubSpot, meaning that you will be able to see how many people you reached through your campaigns, how many of them actually filled out a form, the deals that are created, and then also your return on investment based on the ad budget that you spent. Now we're gonna click on get started with ads. Then in this case, we want to link Facebook. Then it's gonna ask me that I've previously logged in. So I'll do continue as Jasper. Then you're gonna find the account that you wanna link here. So you're gonna select that account. It's gonna enable auto tracking. You want to keep that enabled and then you'll say connect accounts. So now it says, you've successfully connected your accounts. Before I get to the next part, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more HubSpot excellence. Next up, we want to sync leads. So here you, again, you're gonna get an overview of all of the different pages that are linked to your business manager. For most businesses, there will, will be less pages here. And then you're gonna select the ones that you wanna sync. So in my case, I'm just gonna select my personal page here and then the sync option, I want to do new and recent leads. So we're gonna add the pixel now. Now, this is the part where HubSpot makes it really easy to add the pixel to your website as well. So if you have a HubSpot tracking code installed on your website, you can actually add the pixel to your website as well using this system right here. And you can see I have two pixels here. Now in my case, I don't wanna add that pixel here because I already have it added to my website. So we're just gonna skip this step and then we're all set up for this part. So now when you go to ads, you will see that the ad account that you connected is visible here. And you can also see that we have the campaign, like one of the old campaigns that I ran in this test account a while ago. But now we want to sync our conversions through the conversions API from HubSpot to Meta. So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna click on create at the top right. We're gonna select events. Now here you can see you can select the ad network, which will be Facebook in my case. And then you're gonna select the ad account. And then it gives you a couple of options of events that you can sync. So you can sync lifecycle state changes, you can sync form submissions, and you can sync page views. Obviously form submissions and lifecycle stage changes will be the most valuable since a page view doesn't always give you a lot of information. So in this case, I'm gonna select lifecycle stage change. The reason why I choose this is because it will include all of the different forms that I have on the website since forms are part of those lifecycle stage changes. So for example, 
when a contact becomes a lead. Most of my forms are set up that they become either a lead or a marketing qualified lead if it's one of those raising a hand forms. And then we want to sync all of these stages. Usually the evangelist is one that I use a bit less, so I don't always sync that one. Then next you want to enable data sharing. So it's recommended to select all of these, which will give you more accurate data. And then you can also choose whether you want to include all the contacts and move to the selected lifecycle stage in that sync through the conversions API, or you only want the contacts that have interacted with your ads. So if you want to sync less data to Meta, you can best select the second option, but it's recommended to do this first option since you will be able to use all of this data to optimize your ads. And the most, more data you have there, the better it will be to uh, sync that. I'm also going to select subscriber here, just in the case that somebody signs up for my newsletter. That's the subscriber lifecycle stage. We want to sync that as well. Usually it's not a goal for any of my ad campaigns, but just in case we need it, it's good to have it there. So then we're going to select create six events and it's going to create those events and create them within meta as well so that the conversion API will actually work. One more thing before I click create six events, here you can see the event name, how it will show up in Meta. And this will be HubSpot dash and then the lifecycle stage that somebody moved to. So this looks perfectly fine. I will click create six events. And now these conversion events have been created. Syncing is active as it told us here. And we're all set to use this improved way of tracking conversions between HubSpot and Meta. And trust me, it will really improve the performance of any Meta campaigns that you're running. If you're serious about your Meta campaigns, set this up is really a non-negotiable. This will not only allow you to track better conversions, but you will also be able to create audiences within Meta and lookalike audiences based on the data that you have in HubSpot. So basically all of your ads will become way more relevant and it will give a huge boost to any ads that you're running on Instagram and on Facebook. If you like this video, I'm sure you will also like this video right here, my ultimate guide to HubSpot workflows. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.